So to do net sky, you want to start off in Z grip, which looks like this. Then you want to let the bottom packet fall into the palm of your left hand like so. Then you want to use your left thumb to reach over and contact the bottom short edge of these top two packets. Once your left thumb is in position, you should be able to use your left thumb and right thumb to split this top packet like so. Okay. So the way you do that is push upwards with your left thumb and downwards with your right thumb, like so. Once you've done that, you want to use these two middle packets to contact the base of your left thumb down here. Okay. Now that you're here, you should be able to keep this bottom packet in contact with your left thumb while you use your right thumb to pull these two top two packets away. At the same time, you want to extend the bottom packet in the palm of your left hand outwards by pulling downwards with your left middle ring and pinky. So that should look like this, right? Let me show you that again. Z grip, split with the two thumbs, contact the base of your left thumb, pull the top two packets backwards with your right hand and extend the bottom packet outwards, like so. Okay, now that you're here, you want to use this top packet to pivot the packet below it. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna lift this packet upwards with your right thumb, and it should naturally turn over like so. Okay? Once you're in this position, you should have your left index free to catch this packet over here. All right, so you're gonna roll this packet using your left middle ring and pinky on top of your right index and middle, like so. Once you're in this position, you want to bring this packet on your right hand between your right thumb and ring back towards the center of the move. And you wanna reach this long edge over here with your left middle and ring, like so. And you're gonna contact this short edge over here with your left pinky. Once you have these three fingers in place, you're gonna let go of your right thumb, and you should be able to push downwards with this packet onto your right middle, right? So now this packet is between your left middle, ring, and pinky, and your right middle. Once you're in this position, you want to turn this packet downwards, pivoting it along your right middle till it's under it, like so. Once you're here, you should be able to turn this packet face up so that it lands like so on your left middle, ring, and pinky. Okay, so that should look like this. Once you're here, you're gonna turn your right hand palm down, and at the same time, place this top packet onto this bottom packet like so, All right? So they should square up. Then, you wanna extend your right index outwards, turning this top packet face up, okay? And while doing that, at the same time, you wanna let this packet here fall on top of the bottom packet. And you can simply do that by pushing it to the right slightly with your left index finger and it should fall on top. Now you're left with these two packets. And the way you're gonna close this is by flipping this top packet so that it falls into this position over here. Okay, so let me show you how we will close the last two packets again. So you do the whole move. You get to this point, right? This packet falls on top. And the way you want to flip this packet is by applying pressure downwards with your left thumb and your right middle, okay? And you want to use your left index down here to counteract these two forces. This should apply a lot of pressure on this top packet here. Then you want to let go of your right middle 
and this packet should naturally fall face down onto your left hand like so. And once you're here, all you want to do to close is to use your left middle, ring and pinky to push this packet inwards and square up the deck. And that completes the move.